let's turn to Arizona. This is pretty funny. Before the election, but on election day, remember that morning on election day, Charlie Kirk was freaking out because Carrie Lake was losing. And he said the numbers coming in here look really bad. And he's been on the Carrie Lake thing. It's been devastating for him. Now, I want you to just remember that uh, Charlie Kirk, he doesn't just have a show. He is the executive director still of Turning Points USA. Matt, do you remember what Turning Points USA, you know, what it is? It's a tax-deductible organization that uh, purports to like, be sort of educational about politics or something Yeah, but like wasn't that? there a key demographic? Oh, the uh, youth. Yeah, the youth vote. Right, and he, and he really, he, he got a ton of cash to sort of like, um, to espouse certain principles to the youth of America and presumably Arizona. Here's Charlie Kirk um, uh, talking about in, we should say, Maricopa um, just, uh, Maricopa just uh, certified their results. So uh, Carrie Lake has lost again. I mean, she's losing so much losing over and over again. But here's Charlie Kirk. I'll be arrested and charged with a felony. Carrie, that's not a certification vote. That's not democracy. That's if you don't certify an election, I'm going to put you in handcuffs. You know, I think when you do something under duress, it does it, it, it can't stand up legally. That's what I understand. That's, I'm not a lawyer, a but I would point. be that's curious exactly, to ask a lawyer that. That's exactly really, right. That's true. Pause it for I, one second. I, and just, you know, uh, look, I'm not a lawyer either, but I did go to one year of law school. And um, you cannot claim that you have done something under duress when that leverage is you're breaking the law. <laughs> Just because there's a penalty, uh, <laughs> I should be able to do it because otherwise you're right. coercing me. If that was the case, it'd be like, look, you asked me not to take this money out of the bank that wasn't mine because you're threatening me with going to jail. That is, uh, I do not agree to that. <laughs> what is this, Ch uh, Russia? I feel like yeah, Russell's exactly. Um, but I do like the idea that they are going to slowly walking their way towards the notion of coercion, which it can exist in many different forms. It doesn't necessarily involve, uh, you know, a handgun. Um, but uh, that's for another time. Uh, let's listen to them bemoan the fact that uh, Carrie Lake has lost again. So, and I know in Cochise County, they're threatening to not certify and they've got these, you know, dirty attorneys with the Democrat Party down there threatening them. Dirty and Katie attorneys. Hobbs. <laughs> The Secretary of State is threatening them, threatening them to certify what they know to be a bad election mm. because she wants to steal this. So she's <laughs> threatening Cochise County to certify. I wish that one person in one of these Board of Supervisors would stand up and say, then come on and arrest me. Bring it. Uh, I, I have Put to agree with you, but I, I also want to out. Who is the one threatening arrest and who would be the one actually administering the the charging paperwork I, I don't understand this i mean is katie hobbs going to go send troops out not troops but like police well, officers the sheriff's or sheriff? department i don't think the sheriff's department in mojave county would really arrest ron gould if he would have said no i'm not going to I, certify this and, and, i don't think the sheriff's department run under mark daniels down in cochise county a true patriot is going to arrest somebody who says i'm not going to certify this because the election's a mess and and that hundreds of thousands potentially were disenfranchised. Yes. So I, I hope somebody somewhere we need. Pause we need it. A I mean, it sounds like if none of these people are actually, you know, these true patriots are not going to arrest anybody, then, then there isn't coercion again. Now she's just mad at the she's uh, mad people aren't. It seems like she's mad that people are certifying it instead of going to jail for her. Right. And maybe they just feel like, and, and, if, and if, if she's correct and that they wouldn't go to jail, then maybe they just actually think that she should just be certified and that she lost. Yeah. People to step up and be incredibly courageous in this gap right now. Now, a lot of people are like, why is Charlie Kirk, why is he dying on this hill? It's not just because, um, because Donald Trump, you know, uh, is enamored with Carrie Lake. And it's not just because Carrie Lake is enamored with Donald Trump and that uh, Charlie Kirk, I don't know. I mean, he was spending a lot of time with the Trumps oh, yeah. uh, back in the end of that um, uh, term. And it's, I don't know. I, I don't know where he gets his funding for from. Uh, I remember his main funder. You remember the, the guy, the old guy that he had he'd convinced 
the big pitch that Charlie had for this guy was like, I'm going to go into the colleges and I'm going to get the youth vote for Republicans and conservatives. And I'm going to get the youth vote here. And, um, and then he got all that money. That guy died. Charlie was in the wilderness. He died of COVID. And then he, he was, you know, saddled up next to the Trumps. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he got some funding, you know, from there. I don't know. But you got to be, the reason why, and people are like, well, but why is Charlie Kirk so sweatily upset about what's going on in Arizona? Like, why is he so determined to say this is stolen, not real? And I think the answer lies in the constituency that Charlie Kirk presumably has dedicated his political life for. Or really, I mean, so far his life. I mean, his adult life. His, his young adulthood has been pretty much entirely spent trying to shift this dynamic. Shift this dynamic where, where, where you would get the youth vote to support uh, Republicans. And there's some very bad news for Charlie Kirk that I think he's completely aware of. And that is his entire raison d'etre, if you will, his it, everything he has devoted his life to and really uh, let's be honest his entire sales pitch right the way that he's made every one of his dollars is by saying he can reach the youth and carrie lake has definitely been the charlie kirk candidate so this really hurts this is a um tufts university uh analysis of the 2022 edison research exit poll data of the vote this was um before the race was called uh we, you know because it just was certified we should say um it's possible some of the percentages changed a little bit but can we zoom in on this this gives you arizona florida georgia michigan nevada and new hampshire i know i think this probably is sufficiently big up there north carolina ohio pennsylvania texas wisconsin those are the key states youth votes for democrats overwhelmingly or i should say youth vote overwhelmingly democratic the really impressive part is is that like a place like wisconsin 71 percent of the youth vote went for democrats that's amazing um <laughs> Georgia, 63% of the youth vote went for Democrats. Florida, even, 58% of the youth vote goes for Democrats. North Carolina, that was a little tricky. Only 52% of the youth vote went for Democrats. 44% went for Republicans. That was actually the closest margin. In Arizona, when I saw this list, I was like, wait, is this done alphabetically? And then I realized, no, it's not. It is done alphabetically, but it's also coincidentally... Arizona turns out to have the highest percentage of youth vote for Democrats at 76%. The youth vote for Republicans in Arizona is only 20%. Like, uh, there was One another five. 16, 16% uh, or another, I should say, uh, another four percentage, but they went off and voted for the, as opposed to anything. Right. Um, and we should say that the share of the youth vote in Arizona was like, third highest fourth highest in the uh, out of all those states at 12 percent which is also pretty stunning because arizona is like where a lot of retirement people go right, right? Yeah. and so here's charlie kirk completely flubbing it this is uh, november 2nd this is november 2nd as he's inspiring the youth vote let's be clear charlie kirk could not have failed relatively speaking on the curve <laughs> worse he was in Arizona on election day. He may even live in Arizona for all I know to get the youth vote out for Carrie Lake. And it was the worst showing of all the contested seats in the country. How do you even do that? Like one in five is only one in five voters voted Republican youth. That's amazing. You got to you got to look yourself in the mirror and wonder if maybe the rhetoric I'm using is just not working or something. Here he is. Are you even talking to kids, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> here he is, uh, Charlie Kirk right here um and uh addressing uh, God knows whom uh back in uh, Arizona on the election day. You want to see real change? You get Blake Masters to beat Mark Kelly. You get Mark Fincham as Secretary of State. You get Abe Hamaday as attorney general and 
You shocked the world into a way, the one that they really don't want to have happen. And you put a female Winston Churchill in the governor's office of Arizona. The female Winston Churchill. Female Winston Churchill did not resonate with those young voters. I mean, Charlie Kirk has a problem because he is not going to be the Rush Limbaugh that he hopes to be. He's just not going to be. There's not going to be another Rush Limbaugh. You know, he's not going to. Uh, push himself over the pack. He's not going to be indispensable to Republicans. It's just not going to happen for Charlie Kirk. And if anybody, and uh, I don't know, I, you get the feeling there's so many like millionaires and billionaires who fund this stuff that he'll be able to snow somebody. But if anybody bothers to look at his track record in the entire project he's been working on for almost a decade now, they're going to go like, dude, you stink at this. Yeah, I'm trying to, it's been around for a while, and you you wonder, like, do any of the donors, do you care that there's no results, or do you just take the tax deduction? Like, I mean, that's the best, that is, that could be his, um, his sales pitch. I'm a great, if you need to depreciate, uh, or you need to take some losses, I'm your man. I'm your man.